All right, good morning. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to be working on some of the last minute bugs that I've now gotten in from uh, the release of the pre alpha, which is really exciting. And I'm also going to tackle the question of how long do I actually code per day? All right, so I'm going to start programming now, trying to fix some of the bugs. One of the things that we need to fix is that logging in with just an email and a password, that seems to not work for some reason. We also need to add so that if you don't have any workouts, then when you start the app out and start a new workout, it will just start a new workout and it won't ask you uh, which workout you want to start. So that's some of the bugs that we need to fix. So I'm going to do that, spend about an hour and I'm going to stream it on my live coder channel. If you want to check out the full in-depth thing of me actually coding, you can go there. So uh, yeah, let's start. All right, now I'm done with the stream and now I'm gonna go make some breakfast. But as I was saying before, a lot of people have been asking me how much I actually code per day. And so I thought I'd just explain a little bit about like how little or how much I code. Okay, so typically I don't even spend like everyday programming and especially for the app that I'm building, like really what you're seeing in the videos that I make is essentially one day's worth of work usually. And that's why it also takes a while to get this done. But that's because a lot of the stuff that I do during my week is about making these videos that I make and like a lot of other stuff around this YouTube channel essentially and all the other stuff that I create. So I actually don't code all that much, but well, actually let's switch sides because the lighting is not that great. Okay, I think that's better. But also one of the reasons why I wanted to start focusing 100% on building this app and documenting that as a part of this channel is because of the fact that I, I essentially almost stopped programming since I started the YouTube channel because I, because there was so much focus just on making the videos that I make and a lot of them were just like about different topics where I was, uh, doing these talking head videos where I was explaining a topic or just talking about something that I found interesting. And that meant that I didn't even end up having like a reason to program every week. So I spent like months even not programming. And now I felt like I wanted to get back to that. I decided to start this series of documenting the journey of building out my startup. And that's been really great because now lately I've been coding every week. And so I don't really code all that much. And that's also why the progress of the app takes a, a while, but it's very difficult for me to code and to film and document the whole thing uh, and get those bo both of those things done within a week uh, without completely running myself into a wall. So yeah, I wanted to just say, share this because I think it might be interesting. I find it interesting. I watched a video by Forrest Knight, which I highly recommend that you check out. That's why I got the idea for sharing how long I code per day. So really go check that video out, it's really good. Uh, but yeah, I don't really code all that much. I code about, on average, like I said, about probably anywhere from like six to 15 hours per week. Some weeks I don't code at all, but most weeks it's about six to 15 hours and it's about one to like three days, something like that. On the three day mark, it would be probably closer to like 20 hours. Cause usually once I actually get into programming, I get pretty into it and like hyper-focused or like, I wouldn't even call it hyper-focused cause that sounds like it's like a positive thing, but it's more like, I get so into it that I get like tunnel vision almost and I lose track of time and I spend a lot more time than I actually intend to. Like right now I was supposed to just spend an hour coding, but it turned out to be one hour and 30 minutes. And the only reason that I stopped was that I like, I remembered, oh, I need to actually stop myself so that I can continue filming this video. Um, but otherwise I would have probably just kept going until like 12 and right now it's 9.30. So this day was actually a pretty good example of what a pretty typical coding day will look like for me. I generally wake up in the morning, sit down at my desk to code for about an hour or two depending on the day. 
And then I try to stop to go have my breakfast at around nine. I tend to end up eating around 12 though, because I tend to get stuck and when I get stuck, I'm too stubborn to stop. After breakfast, I usually get back to programming for another hour or two. Although today I got stuck along the way watching some YouTube videos for a bit longer than I would like to admit. But then I pulled myself off the couch and got back to work. I spent the next two hours fixing some database issues. And then I headed to the gym for a quick workout. On my way there I saw a northern pike flying above my head. Pretty cool. It may be a little bit counterintuitive, but exerting myself in the gym actually gives me more energy in the evening and throughout my week. So today I did a back workout followed by 45 minutes of zone 2 training on the bike. And this is the reason why I'm building my app to begin with. I want to be able to track the workouts that I do so that I can easily implement progressive overload and some high level periodization to my training. All right, this is Sweden in a nutshell. I just came home from the gym and for the past couple of days, it's been like pretty much like summer outside. It's been like 14 degrees, really quite warm for this time of the year. So you've been like able to actually sit outside and actually tan. And uh, now that I get home from the gym, this is what I see. So yeah, that's pretty much Sweden in a nutshell. Uh, you never know what you're gonna get. After the gym, I put in another session on the app and managed to actually complete the task that I set for myself at the start of the day, which was to fix two of the major bugs that people had reported. All right, so now I've been doing some last minute fixes just to get some of the like admin stuff to work uh, a little bit better. And now I'm gonna eat. All right, so now it's time to go to bed and currently I'm reading the book, uh, Nike Shoe Dog, I think it's called. Uh, really good so far, super engaging. And hot tip, if you wanna get into the habit of reading, I highly recommend like making it a part of your daily routine, like reading before you go to bed, like I do. And I've been doing this for all of 2021 last year and now for all of 2022 as well and I've read more books than I've ever read. And I also find that it kind of increases my motivation for other things in general, and like it spills over into other areas as well. Like for instance, I've been relearning algorithms over on brilliant.org. And Brilliant's course is something that I highly recommend that you try because they're really good at creating interactive and hands-on courses where you get to try things out as you go. And since they are a long-term partner of me and this channel, you can get a seven-day free trial of Brilliant Premium using the link in my description. So so you can test the course out completely free to see what you think of it, which I highly recommend that you do. Brilliant also has other courses as well. Courses that will teach you everything from how to code with Python to advanced mathematics to scientific thinking. They're an awesome tool for learning about STEM interactively and I really can't recommend Brilliant enough and I'm proud to have them as a sponsor for this channel. And again, you get a seven day free trial if you use the link in my description. And right now you also get a 20% discount on an entire year of Brilliant Premium. So go check it out at the link in the video description. And thank you to Brilliant for being a long-term partner and the sponsor of this video. So yep, yeah, now I'm gonna go to sleep and um, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And also I actually have a newsletter called Clean Code Friday. It's actually like Clean Code Sunday right now, but uh, it's essentially a letter that I send out once a week where I share some of the things that I'm doing throughout the week, progress I'm making on different things, tools I find, and 
anything that I find interesting that I think you might enjoy. So you can sign up to that by going to caltech.com slash clean code, or you can check it out at the link in the video description. Now I'm going to read and go to bed.